Hey guys, uh, one second here. Sorry about the delay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I was trying to do it through Facebook Live on my computer and, uh, okay, great. Hold on. All right, guys, sorry for all, hey, good morning. Sorry for all of the uh, technical difficulties this morning. I tried to do this live from my computer, and uh, it was not happening. Um, they changed some things up, and I'm going to have to look into that. And then I couldn't connect to my Bluetooth um, thing on my phone. So we are getting a little late start, but happy Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Everything is going good. And uh, welcome to Build Balance Flow. My name is Nikki. And I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit there. Um, and we are going to get started today um, in a nice seated position. So you're going to have a seat as I just adjust this a little bit here have a seat. You can have legs long or knees bent. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Start to focus in on your breath. Big inhale. Nice big exhale. We're going to take two more rounds of breath here. Nice big inhale. Let's take one more round of breath here. And you can keep your gaze soft or eyes closed. On your next inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Let your hands float down wherever it's comfortable. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. We're going to do two more just like that. Nice big inhale up. Twist it to the right. Big inhale up. And twist it to the left. Inhale, reach it back up to center. Exhale, lean it over to the right. Reach with your left hand, push into your left hip, open up your shoulder a bit here. So if you'd like a little deeper stretch, you can reach your right fingers forward more. If you'd like less intensity today, you can bring your hand in closer, maybe even take a bra black or a bra underneath your hand. One more breath wherever you're at. Come on back up through center over to the left side. So today in class, we're going to work on um, hamstrings, um, strengthening them out, lengthening them out, and then we're going to, and building a little strength, we have a couple balancing poses that are going to um, stretch out the hamstrings a little bit more, and we'll do some core work, come on up through center, and then cool it down. I'm going to come into tabletop, so you can roll forward or swing your legs around. Wrists come under shoulders, knees under hips, spine is long. Root down into your fingers. Press into the tops of your feet and let your belly drop as your head and hips rise. As you exhale, curl your back up to the sky, pulling in your tailbone, letting your head relax. Inhale, belly drops, head and hip rise. 
Exhale, press down into the earth. Arch your back up to the sky. We're going to just take three more rounds of breath here. And feel free to take any moves that feel good. If you like to sway your hips, do some barrel rolls. Whatever your body wants here, go ahead and take that. I'm here to guide you through. But this is your class. So please listen to your body. Do what you need. Do what feels good. On our next inhale, come back into that tabletop position. Find your nice long spine. Press down into your left hand and your right leg and reach your right arm out and left leg out. So you can have toe down or up, but you wanna make sure your hip bones and your toes face the ground. So it's real easy for those toes and hip to rotate outward. Bring it down facing the ground and on your exhale, come back into that tabletop. Switch sides, left arm, right leg. Dial the toes and the hip bones to face the ground. Come back into tabletop. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to tabletop. And one more time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to tabletop. We're gonna find down dog. So if you need to walk your hands forward, go ahead. Root down into your knuckles. Tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Take a few breaths here. Get some movement in the body. Whatever feels good, if you wanna kind of pedal it out, if you wanna move your hips side to side, you like to bend your knees and up, whatever's feeling good here. And as you're in this down dog, you can soften your knees. You wanna think of your heels reaching for the ground, but they don't have to touch. Rooting down into your knuckles. Rotating your elbows inward a bit. So you're gonna rotate them in. Shoulder blades slide up the back. Tailbone tips up slightly. You're pressing your chest towards your thighs and your spine stays long. Find stillness in your dog. Soften your knees a little bit more. Look up towards your hands and step your feet up. A little wider than your hips. Let your head hang heavy here. And again, these knees can be a little bit bent. You can grab opposite elbows or let your hands hang down. So if you do have tight hamstrings, tight glutes, tight lower back, softening the knees, putting a little bend there is going to take some pressure off. So it doesn't feel as tight, so it doesn't um, feel as intense in a pose. Release your elbows. If you have them, root down through your feet. Roll up nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and bring them down into a nice neutral position. Heels come under your hips. Shoulders shrug back a few times. Open up the chest. <coughs> Excuse me, so we got a little bit late start. But we're still gonna go through this nice flow for the hamstrings and the legs. So spine is long. Bring your tailbone in line with your spine, engaging the lower abs. Roll through your feet a few times here. Feet grip the mat as you relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Take a breath in through your nose, fill your belly. Nice big exhale. Big inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift. Find a nice long spine here. Lengthen through the crown of head so your gaze is towards the ground. Spine is long. Fingers are two blocks or the ground or your shins or your thighs. And fold. Lots of options there today. Two more here. Nice half lift. And fold. One more time. Nice half lift. And fold. Plant your hands, step your right foot back into a lunge. So you can stay here, or if you want to lower that back knee, it's fine as well. We're in a nice low lunge. You're going to plant the right hand, left hand comes to your hip or to the sky for a nice twist here. Stacking the shoulders, lifting through the back leg if that knee is lifted. Exhale, let that hand come down. Lower the 
right knee, rise up into your lunge. Maybe pull back on your left hip a little bit here, relax your shoulders. Take a big breath in, big breath, breath out, and press your hips forward just a little bit more. You might feel a nice stretch at the front of your left um, hip flexor, the front of the hip. Grab your blocks or your props. They can be water bottles, they can be blocks, they can be books, whatever you have handy. And you wanna bring them under your shoulders as you continue to press into the front of that hip for one more inhale. And then you're going to keep your spine long, keep your hips lifted as you lengthen the left leg and flex the left foot. So a lot of times you'll see this pose where you sit your hips back towards your heel. You wanna keep the hips lifted. Pull back on that left hip. Foot is flexed, soften your knee if this is really intense. You can stay here or maybe walk the blocks forward a bit. Again, keeping that spine long. So you don't want it to collapse. Keep the spine long. Chest lifted, foot is flexed. Maybe your knee is a little bit bent here, maybe not. It's whatever's feeling good. So if you are in the market for blocks, maybe you don't have a lot of money to spend, that's okay. You can get some blocks at, um, if five below is open. That's where I got these several years ago. They've held up nicely. Or um, Target or really any place, just get some nice blocks. Um, I like some with a little bit of give because when I put them under my body, from a restorative practice, it's a little bit softer. And we're gonna flow through these poses. So you're gonna inhale, come forward into that lunge, pushing forward with the hips, lifting your chest. And as you exhale, lengthen that left leg, flex that foot. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale to bring it forward. Exhale, lengthen that leg out. And let's take that one more time here. Bring it forward. And bring it back. And from here, you can stay right here or you can let this left outside of your foot open up to the side. Maybe walk your right block over to the side as well. You might feel um, a, a nice stretch or something a little intense on the outer edge of the left foot. If it is too much, you can lift that foot up. You can bring yourself back to that more center position, your half splits. And if you haven't walked back already, bring it back into your half splits. Come forward into your lunge, set your props to the side, plant your hands, tuck the right toe, step back to down dog. Shift forward into a plank, so that can be toes or knees. Hug your elbows and lower all the way to your belly. Shrug your shoulders back, inhale, lift your heart, lengthen through the crown of the head, Press into the tops of the toes. Press back to down dog. Right foot steps forward, coming into a nice lunge. Left foot pulls forward a bit so you can lengthen that right leg. And you're coming into pyramid pose and you can grab your props again here. So my left toes turn out just a little bit here in pyramid and that's okay. You just wanna pull back on the right hip, press forward on the left. Again, keep the spine long. So this might be where you're at. This is a great place to be. Maybe you can bend your elbows, come forward a little bit more. Maybe your hands even come down to the ground. We're gonna take two rounds of breath here. We've got one more round of breath. And then you're gonna soften that right knee. Step your left foot up to meet right, perhaps to the side. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to their heart. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, nice long spine. And fold. I'm gonna try not to sneeze on you guys. <laughs> Left foot steps back into a lunge. And again, you can lower that knee or keep it lifted. And you're gonna plant that left hand, right fingers reach to the sky. That knee can be down. If it's lifted, lift up through the back of the leg. 
Bring your hand down to frame your foot. Lower your knee if it's lifted. Rise up into that nice lunge. Grabbing your props, bringing your hands under your shoulders. Chest is lifted. You're pressing into the front of that left hip this time. That left hip flexor. Your right knee and toe are in line with each other. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Take a couple breaths here. I know it's a holiday weekend. Everyone excited? Um, if you're working, you have a three-day weekend, maybe even a four-day weekend. Ooh. And let's come into those half splits. Lengthening the right leg, flexing the foot again, keeping the spine long. Soften that right knee if this is really intense today. So take a couple breaths. Maybe you can walk your blocks forward a bit. Keep pulling back on the right hip, pressing forward on the left. Seems like Memorial Day always seems to be kind of a dreary weekend. Hopefully we get some sunshine though. I just love to have a little sunshine in my life. It always makes the day better. Even if it's cloudy for most of the day, just having that bit of sun always feels good. And let's flow through these poses. Bring it forward into that lunge, push into this hip flexor here. Then lengthen the left, right leg. Flexing that foot. Spine stays long. We're going to do that two more times. Just really working through the hamstrings. And let's take that one more time into those half splits. Bring it back into that lunge. Props can go to the side. Hands come down. Tuck the left toe back to down dog. Shift it forward into your plank. Hug your elbows lower to your belly. Shrug your shoulders back to lift your heart. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Press back to down dog. Left foot steps forward into that lunge. I'm going to try not to sneeze here. Pull in the right leg just a little bit so you can bring your foot flat. Grab your props. They come under the shoulders. Triangle pose. Pulling back on the left hip, lengthening through the spine. Maybe bending the elbows to come a little bit closer. Take a couple breaths here. One more breath. And gently soften that left leg. Right foot steps up to meet left. Rise up. Hands to heart. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold, halfway lift. Nice long spine here, and fold. Right foot steps back, rise up into a lunge. Pause here, relax your shoulders. Keep lifting through the back of that right leg. Fold forward, plant your hands, step back to down dog. Shift into your plank, hug your elbows in and lower down. Shrug the shoulders back to lift your heart. Press back to down dog. Right foot steps forward. Walk yourself around to the right side. So you come into a wide-legged forward fold. And here you can always grab a block for some extra support here. So toes are, can be out slightly, heels in. It's whatever's comfortable for you here. And take just a few breaths here. Maybe you can bring your elbows down. Maybe you want to reach for your legs. It's whatever you want here. Maybe kind of bend and lengthen the legs a little bit as well. You've got one more round of breath. And then if you'd like, you can keep this block with you. Bring the heels inward just a little bit. You're going to walk yourself over to your right leg. Maybe bring your block with you, bending that right knee. So this might be where you're at today. Great place to be, as long as it's feeling a nice stretch. Maybe your right heel pops up. Maybe your hips sink and your left toes pop up. So we've got a couple breaths here. Remember, everybody's body is different. Um, so maybe I can come here, but maybe you don't get as far down, and that's okay. Um, it just really depends on how your body's feeling today. You want to make sure that you're feeling a good stretch and you're kind of right on that edge. 
where it's a little intense, but nothing sharp or painful for you. You're gonna take one more round of breath here. It may be feeling awesome or it may not be feeling so great. <laughs> and on your next inhale, right, or lengthen that right leg and bring yourself through center. Exhale, take it over to the left side and find that nice sweet spot on this side. I like to call it the sweet spot. For me, I love stretching out my hamstrings and my legs, but I know it's really uncomfortable for a lot of people. So again, find that balance between a little bit of intensity, a little bit of stretch, and nothing sharp or painful. Take one more round of breath wherever you are at. And then go ahead, lengthen that left leg, bring yourself through center. Let's go one more time each side, over to the right side. A couple breaths here. One more breath. And bring it, lengthen it out over to the left side. One more breath. Come back through center. And then you're going to turn yourself back to the right side. So gently walk yourself towards your right leg. Lift up the left heel. Shift your weight into that right leg and you're gonna float your left leg into standing splits. So it may not come high and that's okay. And you can also grab your blocks here for a little extra support. Your fingertips are gonna come forward a bit. Soften the right knee. And again, it's very easy for that left hip and toe to open up but you wanna dial the toes and the hip bones down. So your leg may not come as high. And then as you exhale, bend that left knee, set your foot next to your right, rise up, hands to heart. Let's take a big breath in, reach for the sky. Exhale to fold. Left foot steps back and rise up into your lunge. Fold forward, plant your hands, step back to down dog, shift into your plank, hug your elbows in, lower down. Shrug your shoulders back to lift your heart. Press back to your down dog. Left foot steps forward, and you can grab that block if you'd like, and we're gonna walk around to the left side. Coming into a nice wide-legged forward fold again, this time we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, I've done this in some of my classes before. We're going to come into a wide-legged down dog. So you can bring the toes in just a little bit here if you want to grab your block. And you're going to walk your hands, maybe slide your block forward so that your spine is long, just like in our down dog. Tailbone tilts up slightly. Hug the elbows in. Shoulder blades slide up the back. The only difference is your feet are wide here instead of uh, hip distance. And you're gonna take a couple breaths here. One more breath. And you're gonna do a little court, walk about a quarter circle to the left, right side. And this might be where you're at. This is a great place to be or maybe you can come a little bit more to the right. You wanna plant your left hand to the block or the ground, pull back on that left hip, right hand comes to the hip or to the sky. Take one breath, let that hand come down, walk yourself back into that quarter circle, coming back into wide-legged down dog for a breath. And then a little quarter circle walk to the left side, pulling back on that right hip, plant the right hand block or the ground, left hand comes to your hip or to the sky. And let that hand float down, walk yourself that little quarter circle back up to your wide legged down dog. Then you're going to walk yourself around to your left foot. Rotating the right foot, lifting the right heel. Shift your weight into that left leg for your standing split here. So fingertips come forward. Float the right leg, turn the toes and the hips down. 
Bend that right knee, set it next to the left. Rise up. Hands come down to your heart. Whew. All right, so we've got a couple standing balances that you are maybe going to feel in your hamstrings. When you do a standing balance, feel free to grab a wall or chair or table for some extra support if you need that. It's totally fine. Um, so we're going to start by rooting down into the left foot, all four corners of this left foot. Shoulders shrug back, hands start at your heart. Float your right knee and flex your foot. You want your hips to be nice and square. Foot stays flexed. So you have a few options here. You can be here. You can lengthen out that leg. You can also grab your right big toe with your left fingers. If you're grabbing this toe, you still want your spine to be long. So you don't want to be hunched over. This is going to make it difficult to balance. So you want to keep your chest up and lifted. So if you can't grab that toe, that's okay. Knee can stay bent or you can lengthen that leg out. We're going to add a twist to whatever, whatever um, variation you've chosen here. So you're going to take that right arm back and maybe your gaze follows it, maybe it doesn't. And if you want to try to reach for that big toe, go ahead and give it a try. You know, you never know to try, right? It can be very intense on the hamstring though. So if it, it doesn't feel good, Go ahead and take a different variation that's not as intense. You're going to focus on a spot and breathe. And you're going to take one more breath wherever you're at. Remember, it's always okay to step out of it um, to lessen the intensity. It's whatever you're needing today. And let's come on back to center. Gently coming forward, releasing the big toe. If you have it, setting that foot down and let's switch sides. Rooting down into that right foot. Shoulders shrug back. Float the left knee. Again, choose whatever variation you'd like on this side. Lengthening the leg, grabbing the big toe, whatever you'd like. Left arm comes back. Maybe your gaze follows. Maybe you try lengthening out that leg. Maybe this side feels completely different than the other. So for me, the right leg was very intense with that, when I lengthened my leg out. My left leg feels a lot better. I have a nice stretch, but it's not on the edge of painful. So wherever you're at, you're gonna take one more big breath. And then you're gonna find your way back to center. Release the toe if you have it, set that foot down. Maybe shake them out for a moment because we have one more standing balance that you may feel in those hamstrings. We're gonna root down into that uh, left foot again. Hands to your heart. Lift that knee. So a couple options here again. You can just keep this foot flexed or grab your big toe, but again, chest stays lifted if you're grabbing that big toe. And you're gonna open up your right hip to the side. So you might be here or you might be here. And maybe you lengthen out that right leg, taking your left arm out, or maybe you're here and lengthen it out here if that toe is out of reach today. Again, wherever you're at, focus and breathe. It's okay to wobble a little, it's okay to step out of it, it's okay to bend that right knee for less intensity today. Take one more full round of breath wherever you're at. Really rooting down into that left foot. And then gently bend that knee. Release your toe if you have it. Come back to center. Set that foot down and let's try the other side. Root down into that, <coughs> excuse me, into that right leg. Float your left knee. And again, you can take your hand to your thigh or maybe try for that big toe. Lifting the chest, chest stays nice and lifted. Open up that left hip, may, or right, yeah, left hip, maybe lengthen that left leg. Maybe this is where you're at today. It's okay, it's wherever you need to be. Focus and breathe. Um, try softening the right knee just a little so it doesn't lock up on you. And really imagine pushing into the inside and outside of the ball of your foot inside and outside of the heel of your foot. 
So steady pressure, nice and even in the foot, rooting down into the ground, lengthening through the crown of the head, and then gently bring yourself back to center, release that big toe if you have it, set that foot down, shake them out, give yourself a big breath in, nice big breath out. Fantastic. Um, we're gonna do just one minute of core, and then we're gonna stretch it out and lengthen everything out. I know you guys love core work, yay. So core is really important because um, a strong core is gonna help you have good posture. It's also going to help you with your standing balances. It's going to help you um, with, if you're working on inversions or arm balances, it's just gonna help you as well in your regular daily life. Let's come on down. Um, and we're going to come down into tabletop. So we're going to do some bird dogs with a cat in it. So I don't really know what these are called. I just call them bird dog with a curl. You're going to reach your right arm and left leg out. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Curl your back in like that cat. Inhale to lengthen it out. Exhale to set that foot down and switch sides. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to curl. Inhale to lengthen, exhale back down. And you're going to go for about 50 more seconds here, working with your breath. So make sure when you come back into that tabletop, the wrist comes under the shoulder, the knee comes under the hip, the spine stays long. You want to think about keeping your gaze focused down so that your neck stays in line with your spine. You guys are doing awesome. You got about 20 more seconds here. And so when I do talk about spine stays in line, I mean from your neck all the way to your tailbone uh, to keep everything long. Take a couple more here. You guys are down to about six seconds. You're doing an awesome job. Thanks for sticking with it. And working hard this morning and go ahead and release so if you'd like you can sit your hips back take a nice child's pose for a breath or two you can pop up into down dog maybe you want to kind of pedal it out that always feels nice for me on my hamstrings to take it to that down dog you got one more breath and if you're not there already, go ahead and find your way into your down dog. Shoulder blades sliding up the back, tailbone tilts up slightly, spine is long. Relax your neck and your jaw. Right leg lifts to the sky, and let's pause here. Down the toes and the hip bones down, shoulders stay nice and square to the front. So it's real easy to kind of shift more weight into that left hand to open up your hip more, but keep the shoulders square to the front. Bend that right knee, and then bring your right knee towards your wrist. Let your shin settle. Lower the left knee, lengthen it out behind you. Grab a block if you need some support, and you wanna lengthen through the spine. Hips and shoulders are square to the front of your mat. So with that long spine, you can stay here, or maybe you fold it forward. Maybe you come down to your elbows or all the way down. Maybe you put a block under your forehead here. But again, you want your neck to stay long in line with your spine. So if you're on your elbows, and normally you let your head fall down, today think of lengthening through, putting a block under there. You're gonna take about two more rounds of breath. Then you're going to come on up, plant your hands, tuck the left toe, and you're going to uh, come back up to down dog. Then you're going to take that right foot outside of your right hand, heel toe it out about once, flex your foot, come to the outer edge of your foot, let your knee and your hip open up, lower your knee. So you can grab a block if you want to put under your left hand and come on up. And then you're going to bend that left knee, reach back with your right hand, 
reaching for that left foot. So this block is gonna be really helpful for you if you're having problems reaching that foot. You can re raise it up so that you're more here. But you wanna try and grab that foot or that ankle so we can get a nice stretch in the left quad and uh, hip flexor. Gently release that leg, move your prop, tuck your toe back to down dog. Left leg lifts, square the shoulders, bend your knee. Bring that left knee towards your wrist, let your shin settle. Lower the right knee and lengthen it out. And again, this side might look and feel different. You might wanna put a block under here. Lengthen through the spine, shoulders and hips are square to the front. You can stay here or bring it down. Keep your spine nice and long. Take a couple breaths here. One more breath. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your right toe. Press back to down dog for a moment and then take that left foot outside of your left hand. Lower the right knee. Open up the left knee um, and hip coming to the outer edge of that foot. Bend the right knee, reach back with your left hand. Feel free to raise your block, maybe stack your blocks or whatever props you have here and take a couple breaths. Let's gently release the right leg. Bring your hand back down, move your prop. Tuck your left toe, press back to down dog. Take a breath or two if you want to pedal it out or any moves that feel good here. Then you're going to lift up to the balls of your feet, lower your knees down, swing your legs around in front of you. Feet are flexed, soften the knees if you need to. You want to sit up nice and tall, so maybe uh, move the glutes around a little bit to, to find those sit bones. Nice and tall, we're gonna grab props again, and you're gonna take them outside of your legs. Keep the spine long, and you're just gonna gently walk your props forward, keeping that spine long. Gaze is down towards your legs, and just breathe. Guys, while we're here, starting to relax, starting to stretch it all out. I wanna tell you about this really awesome um, event happening in June. June 14th through the 21st is St. Louis Yoga Week. It is our first year doing this. Um, it's super exciting. There's a website, they have a Facebook page, um, a Twitter and an Instagram. So please follow them all to get the, the happenings going on. Gently come on up, walk your blocks back towards your hips. Bend your knees, plant your feet. Make sure you're midway on your mat with props by your side. Roll on down to your back. And you're going to take your feet about um, mat distance and then arms out to your side and you're just gonna windshield wiper your legs with your breath. So you're gonna exhale, let them fall over to the right. Inhale back up through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. We're going to do that a few more times as you, uh, my captive audience sits here and listens to me talk about Yoga Week because I'm so excited about this. Um, it's a really cool program. It's going to be mainly virtual. Uh, it and it's a really great opportunity to um, join the yoga community um, for us to all connect and reach out and meet new friends and and um, talk about yoga, not just the asanas, not just the physical practice, but the mindfulness and the breath work as well. Let's come on back up to center. Walk your feet back to hip distance and bring your heels in. Lift your hips, place a block or a rolled up blanket or a pillow, whatever feels nice underneath your hips. Lift your shoulders and shrug them back. And you can stay right here in supported bridge, legs up for waterfall, or I like to take them forward, letting my knees, my toes, and my hips open up. 
We're going to take a few breaths here, just letting the gentle pressure of that block in your low back start to relax and release the muscles a little more. Um, there are ambassadors. You don't have to be a yoga instructor or even a regular yogi to apply as an ambassador. It's just someone that loves yoga and wants to spread the word. Um, there's so much fun, exciting stuff going on with this. So please give them a follow on all the social medias. Um, apply to be an ambassador if you'd like. And look at the ambassadors on their website too because there may be some people there you don't know that you'd like to connect with. And uh, let's all just celebrate our love for yoga and mindfulness. And what a great time to start to connect since we've been physically disconnected for a while. What a great time to connect with some like-minded people and make new friends. Let's go ahead and bring your feet back to the mat with knees bent if they're not there already. Gently lift your hips, slide that block out. Lower them down. If you want to give your knees a little hug here, maybe rock side to side or draw some little circles, relaxing the lower back. So before we fully end class, um, if you'd like to take a nice long shavasana, feel free to turn off the recording in just a moment so it doesn't flip to another video and just kind of shake you out of it and and disturb you like that. Um, if you want to have a nice peaceful rest here, if you have the time, um, in just a moment you can turn that off before you settle down. When you do settle down into that final resting pose, and it might be seated or legs long or whatever is feeling good for you today, I want you to take about three rounds of breath and imagine this wave gently washing over you from the top of your head. It's just a wave of energy. And as it gently rolls over your body, it's going to take with it any um, tension, any stress, any tightness, any negativity that you're holding on to. It's just going to gently take it with it with it as it rolls down your body. Till it gets to the tips of your toes, gently floats off, taking all of those feelings, um, all of that with it, leaving you here to rest and relax. And if thoughts pop into your mind as you're laying here or resting here, that's okay. Just let them float away like the waves and bring your focus back into your breath, into your mind, into your body. Thank you so much for joining me, friends. I hope you have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend. Hope to see you guys soon. From my heart to yours, peace, love, and good health.